Green vision, mountains of fire, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Greetings and trust you are well. I was hoping to take a break from the channel. I was not expecting to have a dream vision this quickly. I specifically made sure not to pray last night for a dream vision due to how they drain me and take a taxing toll on me. I do not want to type this out and put it out there. This to date has been the most horrific dream vision I have ever had. Not only is it the most horrific dream vision but the clearest dream vision to date by far. I explained many times, the dream visions usually make me sit up in bed, cutting the amount of sleep I have. This dream not only made me wake up early but it is the only dream to date which caused me to jump out of bed and caused me to run out of my bedroom. This is a dream vision within a dream vision. After I woke up from the dream vision, it caused me post-traumatic stress. While explaining the dream to my relative for about 15 minutes after having the dream, for close to one hour my mouth was dry, no amount of water I drank could get rid of the dryness. While explaining it to my relative, I had goosebumps and a dry mouth. As I type this out now hours after having the dream vision, my mouth feels dry. This has and is the worst most vivid dream vision I have ever had, it pains me to type this out. I need to give background before explaining the dream vision, after all it's a moving picture and if a picture paints a thousand words, then moving images paints thousands of words. I mentioned a friend I had from childhood who I told him how things would go in South Africa in 2011, I explained how he burst out laughing. I knew this friend from about the age of six. He has never been out of South Africa, nor traveled to any African country. I am with this friend, we are riding our bicycles together, we are teenagers but we are in England now. As we ride our bicycles, I hear overhead a jet fly by. The jet is so close to me I can read the writing under the jet. Out of this fast moving jet or plane which is flying above us, about 8 to 12 stories high, he drops a pallet. It is a pallet made of plywood. I see it hull towards us, these look like the same pallets they drop off for military in war zones. I watch it in slow motion heading in our direction, the pallet hits the ground and splits open out of the pallet. A cross-shaped figure comes out. It is not a crucifix, it is a perfectly shaped cross. It looks like a Lego piece. As the pallet hits the ground, the force, velocity it hits the ground causes this plastic-shaped cross to fly out and it spins on the ground. Like if you took a ninja star and made it roll on the ground on all corners. Out of this cross, or whatever this thing is. A giant spring coil flew out and out of this coil flew in all directions what looked like lead balls the size of a full-grown man's hand. The spring coil was about six foot in length and looked industrial. The balls flew out but in all directions and I watched them, how I do not know but I watched them and in all directions, when the balls hit the ground they bounced. I then said to my friend, we are being attacked by Russia, Russia is nuking us. At this moment, we rode on our bicycles so fast, as fast as we could pedal and we could not go any faster. We traveled about one kilometer up this path to a main road. When we got to the end of the path, in front of us was a road and I looked up, and in horror, coming towards us was a mountain of fire. Now I need to try explain this portion of the dream in the best of details. I could see on my left and on my right, a mountain of fire moving towards us. It looked more like giant waves, but the waves had not formed their crest. At this stage, they were giant swells. In these swells of fire, I could see the different colors of red and orange, they represented the different times the explosions took place. They stretched beyond the clouds, there was not a cloud in sight, I cried out aloud in the dream in a hysterical way, in the split second, I looked for a place to hide. My mind now racing what to do, in the second, my my mind showed me to take cover under a car but then I knew it would be of no use. Then I thought about hiding under the bridge, again my mind showed me it would not help, then I thought about hiding in the river but again my mind showed me it was no use. I could see this flame, this mountain of fire had consumed everything including the clouds but there is no mushroom cloud. 
it is like the portion of the nuclear explosion when the liftoff takes place of the nuclear explosion that keeps on rising before the clouds. I could hear the cries, the screams of the people while hearing the road of the mountain of fire, it was a living mountain of fire moving towards us, consuming everything. I remember thinking that there is no one who will survive this, not even the birds would be able so escape. Unfortunately words cannot explain this, it cannot explain the terror I felt. Knowing we could not move or go forward as these nuclear massive mountains of fire approached us, moving slowly but consuming everything in its path. At this stage, my friend had already started riding back in the direction from where we came from. On the way there, he said I was crazy. He said I was on drugs, I said not only do I not take drugs but I do not even take anything with CBD in it. At this stage one could not understand why he was acting like this. At this stage, I realized I had seen a vision within a dream vision. My friend had not seen it with his naked eye. I was the only one who saw the vision. In crystal clarity, he had not seen it and could not believe I freaked out like I did. Only someone high or taking drugs would act in that manner. This aspect of the dream is the most chilling, because I knew that it was related to the other dream vision, the first on the channel but I was in a dream and seeing a vision. A vision within a dream, so quite different to the others put on this channel. This friend was freaked out by how I freaked out but he could not see the vision, so he stormed inside to this house or apartment he was living in. I tried to SMS him on his phone to come out to explain it to him. He did not know about any of the dream visions I had had but I could not get hold of him. I went to a relative who was in the dream, the relative is now deceased for almost five years. This relative was sitting around women talking, smoking and I said I need to speak to her. She asked me what about. I leaned in close to her, I whispered into her ear, I said and this is the key to the dream, these words, this is the most important aspect of the dream vision. The Russian dream vision is true. I saw appear before me, the first dream vision on the channel. At this stage, we managed to call this friend back and he came outside, my relative began explaining everything to him and he saw. This is the first dream vision, a dream vision within a dream of a first-hand account of what is going to take place. I have mentioned the channel, the videos stand testament to the fact, if I have had two or more dream visions about an event, then the event will come to pass. This ladies and gentlemen is the second confirmation of the first dream vision, which means it is not a case of if it will happen but it is going to happen. How can I say that with confidence? Well if one dream vision plays out then double confirmation plays out even more. Let me remind you of the three Russian dream invasions. Those dream visions are not complete and properly fulfilled yet, they are playing out. The dream vision mentioned Lithuania, Latvia and we see what is happening in the news now with those countries. When I woke up from this dream, I jumped out of bed. My description will not convey or properly describe the events fully. I will add in here my thoughts during the dream and after waking up. This is the first dream vision on the channel where I have had a dream that caused me to jump out of bed and run. Caused me post-traumatic stress and caused my mouth to be dry for more than 30 minutes. This is the interpretation of how I see this. I do not know if it will happen exactly like this but this is what I think and my thoughts about it. The spring which was unleashed contained a new type of nuclear weapon so small and all those nuclear balls went in different directions. When they hit the ground they first bounce, after they bounce they explode in the air. The combined number of balls exploding in the air in different locations from where the pallet was dropped causes some chemical reaction which when they all go off will make a mountain of a fireball. Rather than a single fireball explosion. The explosion off of the ground, will cause the heat from below the ball to rise but because each pallet contains so many of them, and the explosions are so wide. No mushroom will fall but as the temperature at the height of clouds gets cooler, it causes a wave effect and appearance of when the mountain of fire comes down resembling a wave. I saw the intent of the Russian pilot. 
They wanted to eradicate everything and everyone on the island. It was too terrible to hear the cries, grumblings of the people in the distance. It is as if my mind traveled to these high-rise apartments engulfed in these flames and I could hear the women cry out holding their children. While witnessing this, I thought I could never wish this on my worst enemy. The intent was to wipe out everything, everyone, not even the birds could escape flying, the mountain of fire stretched up so high, it vaporized the clouds. I cannot explain it fully, imagine seeing a table mountain on your left and right. A burning table mountain that stretched as far as the eye could see but that the mountain was alive and moving in towards you like a wave devouring everything while you hear the crackling and rumbling of it and at the same time seeing not a soul but hearing the groans, cries of the people in the distance being silenced by this event. When I woke up, I was totally traumatized by this dream. When I explained this to my relative, even my relative was moved by the trauma they could see how the dream impacted me. After the dream vision, I got up, sat outside, thinking about many things, many things came to my mind. I saw this. I have no idea why it came to my mind, but it did. I saw how this rollout of the vaccine is part of this. It was the first part of the extermination plan because during the dream I saw no army or police or anyone try combat this or fight it. The communists, the satanists running this at the highest levels want to exterminate us. I saw how what the seer mentioned about the Russians returning to their old ways, they are not reformed but even more intent on their old communist ways of total extermination. They had been waiting for this moment to unleash what they planned for so long.